channel. If you're new here, my name is Adriel, and if you're returning subscriber, welcome back. So I'm going to dive right into the topic for today because I'm excited and I like this topic. So if you're in, you know, entrepreneurial, if you like business, if you, you know, yeah, that, that, that type of person that wants to just start a side hustle or want a side hustle because of passive income, this is the right video for you. So I'm going to put out the disclaimer, majorly because you have to register your business at some point. So this idea of a side business or so side hustle, it doesn't mean that, um, you know, you go on like that without, you know, without being taxed. As your business grows, you know, you would have to actually register it so that you don't face issues, so that they won't say that you're invading taxes. But this is just something that you can start on the onset tax free. And then, you know, as you grow, <laughs> you register your business and get an ABM. If you want to find out how to register a new business in Australia, let me know in the comment section and I would you know, basically do a new, another video just kind of giving you a broad explanation to it. I was just like, <laughs> broad explanation to it. But moving on to the topic for today, I'm going to be highlighting five different side hustles that you can do. Before I start, um, I don't know if I've said this in a while, but if you haven't followed, if you haven't subscribed, I was about to say follow, but if, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. My dear, hit the subscribe button. Do you, do, see, I've been on one, one, one level since. Okay, I reject it. Christian and me will not be on one level in Jesus' name. But I've been on one, you know, 1,000 and something followers. I'll be subscribers. Please hit the subscribe button. Yes. Please and thank you. While you're down there, hit on the notification bell so you can get notified when I post a new video. And like this video. There's no how you will watch this video. And tell me that if you're moving to Australia, this side hustle video is not for you. Or you did not benefit from it. Or somebody in your household. Or somebody that you know did not benefit from it. So please. <laughs> please and please like this video if you know you learned one or two things from it you can like it now you know in anticipation that you will learn something from it or you can like it at the end of the video but do not leave this channel without liking the video thank you if you like the video more people that are interested in context like this will actually you know find me so please let's you know be generous with our likes <laughs> moving forward i'm gonna start with i think one of the most popular ones that we know about which is basically hair making Huh. I can't overemphasize. I think in one of my videos, I basically talked about how much this hair, I don't want to say hairdressers, or I would say hairstylists, how much they make from, you know, just regular braids. Because sometimes, as a lady, you want to put your hair in protective hairstyles. Men these days make their hair also. So there's a huge market. So people always say, oh, maybe it's competitive. It isn't. There are not enough braiders. There are not enough stylists out there so we actually need more people that are stylists i don't even know once you're out of africa or wherever you're from <laughs> wherever country you are you know you need a hairstylist you know if you're black if you're african you need someone that understands the type of your hair so hairstylists they earn a lot of money you can make a lot of money from that tax-free I would say though, like if you want to get the benefits from the state and stuff, you'd have to you have to register your business because I knew that um during the period of COVID, a lot of hairstylists and small small businesses got a lot of benefits from the government. So if you you know if you follow under that group and you just you want to take your business from just a side hustle to you know a bigger ground, register your business, please. If you're making a lot of money, register your business. Anyhow, <laughs> moving forward, um Babas also. I don't want to say hairstylists or say babas are you know are together because babas are separate. I don't know any other person, but my husband finds out that like you know he can't get the right baba, or once he finds one, he sticks to that one because you know they be messing up his his hairlines most of the time. So another side hustle is barbing. If you know how to bab hair, see me. I'm going to go and learn how to bab hair because the amount he's paying to bab his hair i'm just like it's more clipper back and forth no 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 i'm going to go learn how to bab hair but if you want to kind of categorize them together and say you know say, let me say braiders or hairstylists and barbers you know they are one but they're two separate people but anyhow braiders if you know how to braid plait hair make wigs um lay front hours, you know everything <laughs> that entails your hair that's a side hustle there. That's a money market. So that's something that you should look at. Barbing also is a money market. Something you should look at. The third one also is cooking. Um, <laughs> you might be like, oh, why? But like, see, 
some days you don't want to cook if you're coming from i came from lagos in nigeria and if i'm hungry and i don't want to cook i just you know oh maybe there's mega chicken or there's you know some place i can go and eat whatever food i want to eat but you don't have that avenue here and you don't really get a lot of people that know how to cook there are some people that cook and you know their food tastes nice but like they a few people that you know cook the way you want like I don't want it the way you want to, but like the way you remember the food. I want to eat my amala like I'm, you know, remembering the buka. Not everybody has that gift. If you have that gift, please start, start the side hustle. I'll patronize you. I really will patronize you because I'm craving amala. <laughs> um, cooking is another side hustle that you can do once you move here. Tax free to your business grows bigger. I know some people that are in this business that still not registered their business mainly because it's passive income for them. They don't do it on a full time basis. They basically do it as a side hustle. <laughs> so they have their 95 jobs or even have, you know, more than one um, 95. They might have one main job and another job as a second job and still have this side hustle just the way to, you know, save money or keep money, that kind of thing. Just, just a job that you can do with your hands, basically, your skills, making money with your skills. Another one is photography. See, eh? I did not cherish Nigerian photographers till I came to Australia because you can basically call up somebody and you know, the next week you're already in their studio shooting your picture, you know, shooting, shooting and getting your content, and they will go all out for you. They will edit. <sighs> not a lot of the photographers here have you know that immaculate um, editing skills and we're in the era where weddings are boiling like weddings are popping especially because more nigerians are leaving nigerians or oh more nigerians are leaving nigerians more nigerians are leaving nigeria and more africans are leaving africa so that talent or that picture quality that we want or that we know we're going to get if we travel back home for our you know weddings and stuff you know you can't get it over here. They're just a handful of people. Trust me, the handful of people here that I have seen, you know, that are basically like you can put them up to some, you know, standards. I have my own standard that I'm holding them up to, Sha, but there are just a few of them. But if you're a photographer, you're a videographer, and you let me let me move closer for you. And you know how to, you know, like do all these things. You know your onions, my dear. This is this is not from, this is no longer a side hustle yet. This is a full blown market for you. Come and make this money. See, that's what I can tell you. That's just. Are, are you listening? Come and make this money. If I was good with this my camera like this this my camera all i can do is actually just this video stuff but if i knew how to take pictures and do videos my dear best believe i will be in that market i will be there making the money as a videographer and a photographer but as i can't do all that one maybe i should go and learn but uh <laughs> Let me not drag this whole topic, but I'm so excited about this particular topic because these are just five different things that you can make money with. And these are five different things that you can actually learn before you leave whichever country you're based in at the moment. These are things you can, I don't know, for chips. Let me even give you, let me, let, before I run away, let me give you a bonus one. Makeup. Makeup. Ha! See, if you think that there's Owambe in Lagos, You've not seen Owambe in Australia. <sighs> I have seen some silly makeup artists, you know, charge some ridiculous amounts. Even hairstylists. I moved to Adelaide, like we all know, and I was really trying to braid my hair. And the videos I was seeing, I'm not seeing, I'm not calling anybody's name. <coughs> but I do not. Nah. I told myself like, like this is not gonna happen. I'm just going to like I'm not even going to. I can't do this. I can't braid my hair here. And I was thinking of going to Sydney to braid my hair. That didn't work out because I went to Sydney in December and everybody was fully booked. So I moved back. To, I came back to <laughs> I came back to Adelaide and I cut my hair because I'm like I can't do. I can't do. I can't. Mm, no. If I can't find somebody to make my hair, then I might as well just you know be on the local and dye my hair. I'm in that phase at the moment. Yeah. But you see makeup artists here. Yeah? <sighs> you really need to go and learn things though because this. 
there is money to be made and if you're smart about it you can turn your side hustle to a million dollar business i am not exaggerating okay maybe not a million dollar business at the moment but please anything can happen anything can happen anything can happen let's not doubt it let me even say it's yes, a million dollar business so if you're looking at it and saying oh um i don't know this i don't know this i don't know what i'm going to do when i leave you know my dear if you if you're going to come to australia say march april May, june this year start learning i know a couple of you know brands in nigeria that basically train people train people on how to fix front house how to make bridal hair how to do hair like this how to make wigs how to do makeup photography classes for beginners you know barbing classes hair styling classes cooking classes you can even learn how to cook online these days see i gave you i said i was going to give you five i gave you six maybe I, maybe i should add one more tailoring oh my jesus if you know how to sew this is not even like even sewing for men now because not a lot of men will wear, you know, traditional or will sew custom dresses most times. But women will always sew custom dresses. And we know what the style is like now. Duh. There's so many horrible, horrible tailors in this place. God forgive me. But there's so many horrible tailors. And they're cashing out. And I can see that, you know, if people are better, they will make more money than, you know, you know, your skills will speak for you. Let me not even say anything because now, I don't want to seem as if I'm bashing anybody's business. But I won't bash anybody's business. But... Ugh. When I see potential, I'm just like, come on, people have to do stuff. I'm yabbing now, like, I'm just going off. I feel like I've gone off script, but you can hear the excitement from my voice. I'm excited and I know that, you know, if you have the skills, you're going to make money. <laughs> I don't know. I like money. So don't say I do not put you onto anything. If you already have the skills and you're applying to Australia, thumbs up. Don't forget to advertise yourself. Don't be scared to advertise yourself. If you do not have these skills, go and learn. It's not hard. You're not at the age where you cannot learn things, so go and make this money. Go come and make this money. You're not getting you're not getting paid in naira or whatever currency that you're earning. Get paid in dollars. You know the word is enough for the wise. <laughs> so if you ended up making this the end of this video, thank you, thank you for staying on. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was a fun one for you. Um, see you in my next one.